John here. Today is um, Wednesday the 4th of May 2016. I'm just calling my barrister office, um, Falcon Chambers, and to see if uh, when's my court hearing. I'm getting more anxious by the day to find when that's going to be. Here goes. Long journey. Here we go. Victoria, look, it's John Wanoa speaking. I, uh, John Wanoa. Good, thank you. I, I wondered. Uh, I'm not too sure when my court hearing is. I, I was talking, what's that? Um, um, Shannon with us. It, it was, it was maybe the 19th or the 8th, no, it can't be the 8th, it's Sunday. It was, I think it's somewhere around there, the last I ever thought of it, but he wasn't too certain. He, he did mention that it may be delayed. Because of uh, the um, yeah yeah. 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 O two o o two seven two eight one three nine six three two eight one three nine six three. Yeah, I, 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 it'll be nice to know. In the, the disclosure forms, I wanted to have those as well. I wanted to see what was being... Pardon? Yeah, the full disclosure, what the court ordered, um, uh, that uh, um, allowed me to see what was in the whole transcript of her... her um, um, Orders, uh, her papers. Yeah. I'm 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 getting on well enough with him. I'm I'm quite happy with his progress so far. Hmm. I want to make a good case out of it. Yeah. And um, um, it's. Um, Quite interesting for anybody to follow what's happening. It's it's at the top end from uh, the Marae in, in Waitangi. I have gone into the Waitangi Treaty Grounds myself with the chiefs into the Marae because that's all my carvings in there from my East Cape and all that's going. They've got all the backing behind it, you see. And uh, um, does matter. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Bye. There we go. That's um, um, Corina, I think it was, um, from um, Vulcan Chambers in the city. Um, just letting me know, um, Shannon, the, the office is usually best to ring rather than Shannon was always busy in the courts. I might get him now and again, but I've been trying before and it's very difficult. He's very busy too. I, I'm very patient with him and I'm happy uh, with his progress so far as a barrister from America coming here and knowing federal law. We're getting this one right. We're going to get it right. We're going to apprehend the Queen, uh, the Queen's uh, agents, uh, the police, for doing these things to me. He, he knows that, for one thing, she should never have come in my apartment here and taken my shirt off my back, especially a King's shirt with his um, authority 
that I'm using up in the Waitangi Treaty Grounds, Marae. That's my Marae there, I'm just dolo. The carvings in there belongs to my family down the East Cape. Utu um, Taungas, and uh, I want to make that plain to people watching these videos that I'm taking my authority from the highest source of the chiefs in that marae, Kingi Taurua, the ex-war veteran from Vietnam, and his friend was uh, uh, Sir Jerry Mataparai, uh, the Governor General, is the President of that marae, and that's who I have a bone to pick with, legally. He is liable now for colluding with the um, Navy Chief, Chief of Navy, um, accusing of conspiring to defraud the people of New Zealand and um, with uh, using our marae, my own wood carving in there, to conduct their fraud business, that I'm accusing them of fraud, committing crimes of church and state, and um, uh, right in front of the Maori people who are in the trustees there, um, uh, helping them to um, uh, run their private businesses inside that marae for the Queen in England and her crony lot of elite people. They're going to get found out now because I've got it all online now. I'm putting everything online today and tomorrow and Sunday about what's going on inside that marae. We've turned that into a King's Bench Court now with the ship of Admiralty outside in the paddock. That's that mast you see. We're treating that as a serious case of corruption um, um, and uh, deception of the law. The Crimes Act 1961 is what I'm saying and I think the office knows this is not a case that's as easy as it looks to do. And that's what the judge said back then, Collins said. Oh, it's a relatively easy case to do. And Shannon says, no, it's not. It's, it's a, a claim, land claim case. And he's right, it is a land claim case this way, not through the Waitangi Tribunal, because that's fraud too. Everything with Maori word on it and Iwi word is a fraud. And I'm going to make certain that it sticks. We're going to build them all with the pound note, okay? You hear that? You hear what I'm saying? And they're going to be doing this through that office, through through Vulcan Chambers. They're going to have to take my instructions as a court of our own inside the Auckland District Court. I'm expecting to have a courthouse of our own where I'm going to be with our uh, lawyers and barristers under a King's Bench Court um, uh, system, all right? Now, Obama's putting together police, navy, and those navy are subjected to that marae. Any, any navy police that's being set up in the United States comes under that marae and, and the Queen's business because we're reining her in. We're going to arrest her when I get to England for treason and many other crimes she has committed under these acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837, we will be implementing in this new courthouse in one of the court's rooms in the Auckland District Court. We're going to be operating there because that court is for common law court. We're going to operate the common law court in there and the Admiralty Court Martial Law from that court going to do that for arresting people for over a million pounds straight into that court from the High Court of Admiralty in London Authority, right? The same court system as that Admiralty King's Bench Court in London. It's a Queen's Bench Court but I'm operating it from Devon in England when I get there. Jamie and I will be going there soon as we can get this 61 Cook Street sorted out. And that's my latest today. Um, I'm, I'm pushing on with the case and uh, I'll put the emails to the barrister online for you to see.
I'm hoping that the Barristone and Balkan Chambers will set a precedent of cases like this. Um, native, um, Moai Native, King's Bench Court hearings. And if they can do it successfully, they'll got a job. They've got a contract for the rest of the world through this uh, system of law. The King's Bench Court law is severe. It amounts to hanging by rope for anyone who anyone who breaks these laws. All right? There's plenty of people who are fraud, and they need proper court hearings. And this is the court to do those hearings in mutiny and and piracy on the high seas. That's who we are in that court. I'm going to set up. All right? I'm hoping that we can get on with it and set it up and put everybody in there. All those people from overseas hiding away here under this veil of John Key and his government and their fraud Panama papers tax havens here, right in this country. They might say they they don't they're not on the wanted list of the EU Parliament. They are. We're saying we're accusing them of being tax havens. We will do our own audit through the court. Thank you very much, John. One on Auckland, New Zealand. We'll see you again.